Welcome to the Queens on Decks, where I interview female DJs from around the world. I am Michelle Miller, your host of the Royal Queens Rising podcast. We share our inspiring stories and secrets to our success. Hey, 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 meeting is now live streaming. What's up world? It's DJ Rundat, the host of the Queens on Deck show, which is now the audio podcast, Royal Queens Rising. Welcome DJ Shelly Rockstar. Hey. Hi everybody. Oh my God. I'm so excited to be here. Yay. I know girl. we've been <laughs> connecting online for a, lot, a while now. I love your vibe. Yes. And we're doing the thing today. <laughs> All right. Well, so tell us a little bit about you and how you got into DJing. Sure. Oh my goodness. This is so fun to talk about because I meet so many um, females, little girls, older women that come up to me and they ask me the same question all the time. And I started very late. I've always been a lover of music. I cannot sing. I cannot rap. And I could do a little, a mean two-step, but that's probably as deep as I could ever get to, as far as music was concerned. But to be a lover of music, my collection had just gotten so extensive that I had to um, go digital. And it was suggested to me um, that I should possibly get into DJing because I had so much music. And I kind of took it as a joke, but I was actually, believe it or not, um, home on maternity leave with my daughter, who's now seven. And I was taking classes just kind of sort of as a hobby. And then I started to really enjoy it and love it. and. I come from a very corporate background, so it's very funny to like start this late in life to do something completely different like this, but it just sort of kind of matched my passion with like my business and organizational skills on the side, because I sort of parlayed that, because I had an event planning background in human resources. So I sort of parlayed that and some more gigs for myself, because I knew what people were looking for, but Oh my God, when I look back now, I, 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 you couldn't have told me I would have been doing this. You never, never in a million years. <laughs> I love that. Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so cool. I mean, yeah, it's never too old to dream a new dream or do anything, really. You know? You're absolutely right. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, there's so much good music out there. It gets overwhelming for me, like my love for it. It's like, what do I want to listen to right now? What do I, like, what am I, you know, like blowing through five genres in a day, like just yeah, like yeah. switching the vibe up. So your corporate background as an event planner and mm -hmm. resources. So, so talk to me a little bit more about that. Have you been doing online events? Well, I really have, you know, since the coronavirus and, you know, the quarantine and, you know, a lot of the venues just shut down. You know what I mean? A lot of the venues that I had residencies and I had put a lot of work, I would say, into the last couple of years of just trying to put myself out there, which was like a huge step for me to even begin with. So I finally get this like little tiny bit of momentum and then here comes coronavirus. Like, oh, hi, never mind. No, you won't be doing that. So um, instead of, you know, I had my weeks like, oh my goodness, should, why, like, should I have become a DJ? Like, what am I thinking? What am I doing? How am I going to get income? And then it just got to the point where I just literally had to just stop and say, okay, wait a minute. Like, everyone's going through this. It's like a pen, like, it's not just me. Like, I don't need to blame myself. It's not my fault. Like, literally relax. So once I was able to do that and just having a really good circle of friends kind of keep me centered and focused and spiritual, I started to pivot. And I was like, okay, well, what can I do? So I haven't done as many events because in here in Florida, we had become the epicenter for new cases at one point. So it was really hard to get out there. But what I started to do was a lot more um, virtual parties, um, a lot more Zoom parties, um, expanding my events a lot more to the virtual side. And you know, at one point I was shot even me in front of the camera. I was like, oh my God, I wanna hear my voice. I don't know, don't, don't look at my face. Like I don't have a makeup. And then other time, you know, in the, in the first four weeks, I was just getting on Instagram, like, okay, hey, this is music that, you know, forgive me, I'm just wearing my glasses. I can't see, I don't have on any lippies today. Um, but I think it really, you know, helped to um, shape what I'm doing now, which is, you know, providing that services to people that are really 
trying to figure out ways to still you know connect with people um whether it's corporate events that i've done they've had some team building things since everyone's so far away i've done some things with um elderly facilities and things like that long-term care facilities where they can't be in contact with their um, loved ones so we've done zoom parties so that's been really good um but i would have never probably gone that route ever in a million years but you sort of have to become like your own macgyver when you're in this industry you got to figure out you know what can i do to um you know combine these things i already have this talent so that was just one one of the ways i was able to uh transition wow yeah i call it get your shift together <laughs> yeah <laughs> We all had to pivot real fast, you know, and, and, and some, some DJs took a break and that's cool too. Like, I know, like for those that are listening that haven't felt like DJ know that you're not alone and you'll get it back. Just, you know, I, I had a set a goal to do this corn Queens party we did recently and uh, it took us, you know, we've been talking about it for months, but we just finally made it happen. And of course my computer was like acting up. It was spinning. Oh my God, don't even. <laughs> And it was, it was like, we had put in so much energy to make it professional as we can get, like so much like tech checks and all this stuff and the computer acted up. I oh my God. It. So it's just like, you never know, but it, it, I've had some really fun virtually virtual parties. I got to be a part of a teen camp, a girls online teen camp. So I love all the creativity that's coming out of this downtime, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. When I see D Nice, I was just kind of like, you know, he looks like he's having so much fun and I'm just so glad. Cause like you said, you, you'll get it back there. Like you said, there was a time that I was just like, I don't, I don't want to do anything. I was just kind of, you know, mobile, but I feel like, you know, music is therapeutic. And once I started to spin and see, you know, actually see those faces on the other side and those little boxes, um, enjoying themselves. I was like, you know what? I, I, I can get out of bed today. <laughs> if I can make, look, the DJ saved someone's life today. I can, I can get out of bed. Yeah. It, it was really cool to check out all these different DJs and to collaborate with different DJs, mm -hmm. um, online. That's been, that's been fun and a positive side to this. So what's next for you? Oh man. You know, well, I have the and it, like you said, when you think about, um, you know, pivoting, you know, like I said, it's not some people are really just, you know, reevaluating whether or not they want to continue in the industry. And I've had a lot of people that just said, you know what, I can't. Like you said, some people are spending their downtime, you know, organizing their ridiculously large music files like me. <laughs> that took me like 30 days. But other than that, you know, I've expanded into drive through parties. So there are events where people where I'm actually outside, we're social distancing. I did like a really cool party with one of my good friends and we had like a little twerk zone. So if you wanted to like get out and twerk, you put on your mask, there's like a little designated area, but you know, people came through and they were honking their horns. That was really cool. I'm also doing um, backyard movie parties, which has actually become really cool. I never really thought that I would like combine the two but it's been really cool to have an outdoor screen and people get out there. So I just think it's just a matter of sort of keeping my love alive, but also keeping the business alive. I've been making some very interesting connections and just meeting more, more female DJs, which I love to see. I'm just such a huge, you know, girl power proponent. So I love the show. I love the podcast. I'm like so excited for you. So I'm just happy to just even be, you know, just talking to you about it because I know I know how difficult it was for you to just, you know, get those steps in order and just to see it come to fruition is just super cool for me right now. Aw, thank you. Yeah, you <laughs> know, it started almost two years ago interviewing female DJs. My first one was DJ Dana and it totally has evolved. And, you know, you were talking about earlier about, you know, getting used to seeing yourself and hearing yourself on video and, and it takes time to just kind of accept and accept yourself like this is me this is me on video this is what i look like these are the expressions i make this is what i sound like and it's all good and i believe with branding you're branding your person your personality brand so just be yeah. you be authentic don't worry about what other people are going to think the fears of judgment the fears of being seen online it's a process so i always tell everyone just start <laughs> just start 
It's the only way. It just takes yeah. experience. Yeah, Even if you crazy. hate it, just start, you know? I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so I always like to ask, what advice would you have for somebody listening that would love to start DJing that maybe is scared or doesn't know what to do or <laughs> starting out? I would like like you said start I would you know just start by thinking about the kind of music that you love the kind of music that you like and that that kind of gets you on the path people that are interested in DJing pretty much already have like their playlist so I feel like there's these undercover like DJs living out there but they're really afraid like oh my goodness should I learn vinyl I don't know anything about you know technical like there are so many groups out there. There are so many organizations. There's, you know, your group, you know, female DJs on Facebook and things like that that will um, that will welcome you with open arms. I'm always available. I'm Shelly Rockstar on all social media. You can hit me up with questions. People will tell you I answer all the time. I don't, you know, proclaim to be like the, you know, DJing guru mastermind, but, you know, whatever knowledge I have to share, I love to um, share it to, you know, all DJs, but especially when I see little girls come up to me and they're like, how did you do that? What are you, I'm interested. It makes me, you know, feel so excited because I think this is sort of like the gateway to a lot of other things, especially if you're thinking about getting into producing music and creating your own content and things like that. I feel like that can springboard into so many things. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I really just am impressed with everything you shared that you've been doing through COVID and the twerk section. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, I got to mention, I have to mention one more thing. Okay. Or I just became a part of this. I'm another online um, virtual concert series. I'm really excited to be a part of it. It's called the Indie One Summer Jam. And it's going to be kicking off this weekend. So you guys, if you follow me on social, you'll see more information about it. But again, it's really about you know, just keeping people in that positive mindset during this time frame because, you know, the news can stress you out, you know, being, you know, locked in your home, like feeling like, you know, cabin fever. But, you know, when you turn on these, I listen to podcasts all the time. I'm always on my lives just saying, okay, who's on live today? What's going on? Just, you know, to get me into that mood. And I know that people appreciate it. So I'm really glad to be a part of the Indie One Summer Jam. And you guys will hear more about that coming up. That's really, really cool. Like you're in Florida and Florida is just amazing. There's so much um, oh vibes there and style, yeah. like the fashion. When, when one of the first times I went, I came out for the best of the best concert two times in a row oh, in Novato. Yeah, year one, he couldn't make it. He couldn't get his visa from Jamaica. So I came back year two and he was there. But the vibes, man, like people driving down South Beach in like semi trucks, like without like the trailer. Like I actually like, <laughs> recently, like had a little like dream. I want to get a little semi truck and then get a, um, a tiny house built with like a drop down stage. <laughs> oh my God. That would be epic. No, do it. Totally do it. That, right? oh my God, I would love that. I would like, love that. Oh, wait, 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 that is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's on par. That's definitely on par with going. And you're right. It's such a huge melting pot. But you know, the reggae scene and the dance hall is like super huge here, obviously. And that's one of the great things about living in South Florida, because it is such, you know, a melting pot. And as a DJ, you know, I learned so much, which is why my music collection grows and grows and grows and grows. You know? Oh, yeah. We lost you there for a minute. Maybe she'll come back. <laughs> Those of you that are live on Facebook, say what's up. I can't see the comments right now because I'm in Zoom, but um, hopefully Shelly will come back on. She's amazing. This has been a really fun interview. And hmm, I'll give it a sec. Is anybody tuned in live here on Facebook? Let me see. Nope. Do do do. I don't ever give up, so I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, you know, I think not. this is the story of my life. Me and the internet. You you know the problems all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like. Well, I think she'll be back. <laughs> Don't worry, I have editors. We're going to edit this, get it all cleaned up, put special effects on, get it on YouTube, get it on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we were talking about how, how, um, how Miami's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's my town. I try to represent for it. I definitely do. I love my city. 
Aww. But we can't go, we can't do anything right now. So when I saw you like in the, some of your pictures, like in a pool yesterday, I was like, I want to go outside. <laughs> oh, I know. So what's the, what's the status of the beaches these days over there? I mean, there is a curfew. You can get out and go onto the beaches. You have to wear your mask. But for me, it's just such a hassle just to try to get down there and just to even like risk it. I'm just not a hundred percent because you know, it's summer, you know, and it's, Florida. I mean, people are going to be there regardless of, and I think the, what do you call it? The curfews kind of, you know, make a smaller amount of people not show up, but for the most part, it's still lots of people out there unless you're up really early. And I've never been an early riser, but, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get back to that. I don't know. So for right now, I'm just rocking with my uh, inflatable pool in the backyard. <laughs> well, we can't. I just pretend in my mind yeah. that I'm on, you know, a tropical island. Yeah, I do the same thing, girl. I do the same thing. Uh, so you're a mommy DJ like me. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, that's really cool that you started. I think you said you started when you were pregnant, right? Yeah, I started like to download all of my CD because you know I was just home. I was on bed rest for my last three months. So I was just like bored to tears. I was just you know uploading like all my little CDs from like that '90s and everything, like uploading them. I was like, wow, this really is a large collection. But um, after she was born, I think maybe about when she was about three or four months, I started um a core a class at um Scratch Miami. The Scratch Academy. Um, that's the one that started by uh, DJ um, Jam Master J. So that was like just to be, you know, that legendary, you know, like this is he put his stamp on this, and that's the kind of person I was. I was kind of like, you know, I could start, but I personally wanted to, you know, get technique down and just learn as much as I could. So it was a, uh, a course that I ended up taking because you know I was home, and it just you know flourished into so much more. But you know. It, you know, doing that and setting aside the time to actually practice. And then you're coming, you're like breastfeeding. And then now she's a toddler and she was like, what are these buttons? So now I get her involved. You know, she likes to touch a lot, but she really, you know, poor thing. She's like singing songs from like the seventies. I know her classmates are going to be like, what is, what is going on? But she's going to have a, 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 a nice musical vocabulary once once all is said and done. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. I love that. The seventies, you know, they, they surprise me because I do all the school dances where, where I live and, um, okay. the requests, they always surprise me. Like they want like Mr. Piano man or <laughs> line or something. It's like, yeah. very it's cool. the cartoons. Yeah. A lot of the cartoons do those throwback jams. So like minions has like all these things and like earth, wind and fire. And at one point I was like, is it me? I was all proud. And I was like, no, it's only because she's watched minions like three times, like uh -huh. a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, music, uh, movie soundtracks are usually pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. That's so fun. So do you ever like bring her to work with you? Uh, well, she's a total ham. I will say that. So she, I, it's very difficult, let me just say, to try to actually work. Like if it's a family function or get together like that, you know, that's a cool thing. But she, I, she needs mommy's like a hundred thousand percent attention. So <laughs> not so much. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I actually, like even now she's like, what are you doing? Gosh, yeah. Um, the internet froze a little bit on your end. I think. You there? Oh, we're good. Yes, I'm here. I see you. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now mine's unstable. <laughs> well, all right, girl. Well, it has been so much fun having you on today. Everybody, go follow Shelly Rockstar on all social media. Book her for your events in Florida. Connect with her. She's amazing. Chicks and mix. I love your shirt. Amazing. Um, any final thoughts, words, anything? No, I just, I'm, you know, I'm so grateful for you. I just got to say that again and again and again and a thousand, a thousand million times more because it's people like you that encourage me to stay in the game. It keeps us going. You keep us motivated. This show is epic. I love what you're doing. And now I'm down on the books and the archives. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Thanks for the love, girl. I love it. I love connecting with you. Thanks for the support on the show. And, um, and thank you for being here and being on here and you're being welcome. so awesome. 
You are a rock star. <laughs> All right, my love. All I'm right. Off again. <laughs> okay. We'll 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 All right. again soon. Bye, everyone. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Go to my website to claim your free gift, a digital copy of my best-selling book, How to Start a DJ Business, www.djrundat.com. Follow me on all social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at DJ Rundat. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. To learn how you can book me or work with me, go to my website, or email me at michelle at djrundat.com.